spent the day at Dollywood's Rainbow Glass Blowing Factory with expert glass blower of 31 years here, Joe DeAnda. And you know, I am amazed at glass blowing. When you see somebody doing it, it's such a craft, a skill. What do you love about it? Well, that, I mean, I just think it's the most fascinating thing in the world to watch how they do this yeah. and see all that come to, to think that somebody learned that and what would have made them think to, that that would be like something yeah. to do and how but the, I just absolutely think it's beautiful what they come up with too I love the colors and the textures and I think everybody loves that part of the thing on the park as much sure. as any it is. Yeah. It, it's so beautiful we have some beautiful ones displayed here on the table what are some of your favorites here well actually they I have a lot of glass things at, at the house one I love the the vases or vases you call them <laughs> <laughs> flower vases <laughs> but anyway I love that but I have a unicorn that they did special for me a long time ago. I love that. Mm. And I love the flowers, but I just love it all. I think it's so fascinating to watch and so enjoyable to have. It's beautiful. Well, Debbie, Debbie Metinopoulos had a chance to have an experience up close, firsthand, to see how all this beautiful craftsmanship is done. Take a look. I'm here today with expert glass blower Joe DeAnda, and he has been blowing glass here at Dollywood for 31 years, huh? Right. What's the most difficult thing to make with the set? I don't think anything is more difficult than anything else. I think some things just have more steps. Well, that's for you. But for like a normal person like me and the people out there, what, what would you say is the most difficult or the most simple? Well, the simplest would be a Christmas ornament. So you think you could teach me to make a Christmas ornament? Sure can. Well, what are you going to make today? I'm going to make an angel. Are you going to make an angel for my daughter? Sure. Let's get started. Okay. First off, this furnace has melted glass inside it. Okay. Woo! Okay, you're not gonna put any gloves on? No. How hot is it? It's a little over 2,000 degrees. Why does it have to be that hot? So that it's liquid. That, right there, that fire is about to liquefy my face. And we're gonna pick up some colored glass right here. Okay, so you, you choose it's, your color now? Right. And this is all glass in these trays. I feel like I just got a sunburn. Is it possible? You can turn a little red. Oh my God. We're gonna melt these colors. Wow, how long do you leave it in there? Um, we're just about done. Okay. That's good. So no more than 10 seconds. Okay, we're gonna shake the glass first. We're gonna use a little wooden tool. It's called a cupping block. A cupping block. How, how is that possible that it doesn't burn? It's kept in water for at least a month before we ever use it. But look at the sparks. And that's just the wood slowly coming off. These cups will last almost a year. That smell. That smells amazing. Okay, now we're going to put a little bubble in it. And now you're blowing. Okay, we're going to cool this just a little bit. And we're going to go back to the furnace. We'll get another layer of clear glass on top of it. And you can't leave it out of the kiln for too long, can you? No. It'll crack. I didn't learn much in science, but I do know that. OK, what I'm doing here is scoring the glass. This is going to be the bottom of the angel's dress. And that's where we're going to break it. So I'm using the shark jacks. Now, we have a beautiful day today here at Dollywood. But in the summertime, I can't imagine um, this is a great place to be standing. It's been known to get 130. Wow. Now, it doesn't look like an angel because it's a round ball. So we want to change the shape. Right. Woo! OK, not so close. <laughs> How come the glass doesn't spit off when you do that? If it's too hot when we do that, it will just fly right off. So timing is pretty important. Okay, there's the head, we're making it slightly taller. And now we're gonna add the arms with some little praying hands.
Okay, with this one, we're gonna stick it right on top of the head. This is how we're gonna hold on to it because we're gonna break it off the pipe and work on the bottom of the dress. Okay, to make it break, we're gonna cool this just by squeezing it with metal tools. You're gonna break it just like that? The metal's cooling it, putting little cracks all the way around. Because you're gonna let it get to the degrees that it's too cold. Right. Oh. But see, you make it look so easy. Someone tells me it's not that easy. goes into an oven at 900 degrees until we're done for the day. Then we turn off the oven it so it cools down. gradually all through the night. All right, so now it's my turn. Okay, you're ready. A little bit harder. I haven't even started. Oh, okay, blow. Keep going. Stop. That's it? That's it. Oh my gosh, that's so easy. I'm a glass blower. So this is my ornament. I think I did a good job. It wasn't hard, was it? Not at all. Anyone can do it. So let me ask you this. Do you think I have as much hot air in me as, as you thought I did at the beginning of this segment? You have enough to do this. Yeah, the unicorn thing is so special to us. You know, this has been such a wonderful journey for us to spend time with you. We, this blue vase in front of you, vase, whatever you, we would like for you to have that and as a gift from us and Debbie's work and spending time here. Well, thank you so much. I will, I will take that, but I would prefer to give something special to you because I have, I live in a house of glass, <laughs> as you well know. But seriously, I have a lot of pieces, but I would love to give Christina of uh, this wonderful thing to take back home oh, to your oh, house oh, there. And to, yeah, for oh, all of you. Oh. It's actually for all of you, but you can, you're the one that always makes the house a home there, right? Okay. So you enjoy that. Is Thanks there a chicken sandwich in there by chance? Uh, no, no, but I'll no, get hello? you some more chicken. No, okay, we'll get some more chicken <laughs> I'll tell you what. But I'll, you enjoy that. This will have a place of honor in our home, Dolly. It, yeah. our, our days that we've spent with you have meant so much to us, and I will, we will treasure, our whole family will treasure this. So thank you so much. Well, thank, thank you. you. I'm, I'm, I'm sad to see you go. <laughs> this has been such a wonderful time. Well, we're not I mean, going we're not, away just yet. I know yet. you're not, but I just wanted to say this, because I know the, everything else is scripted, but I just want you folks to know how happy we are to have you here. I just think you're wonderful people. And that whole home and family thing, you just you just personify that whole thing. So I'm just so happy you came to our home to thank be you. with us. So thank, thank you. you. That means